Happy Tuesday. See, I found a place for those magnets. And these magnets, look, it's number 105. As if it didn't say it up there before you click play. <sighs> Man, it is late. Stupid work, making me work and stuff. 6.48 p.m., 68 degrees. Oh, so beautiful outside. Why am I inside? And yet I am. Let's wrap this up so I can go outside. Probably need to buy groceries. Hmm. Kim's working till 9, so I'm not too worried about being late here, but... I wonder if I should make dinner. Or have something ready for dinner. See what it looks like without sideburns? That's why I have sideburns. All depends where my hands are, right? Need to shave too. Oh, I'm so lazy when it comes to shaving. I haven't looked at myself today, you can tell. Mm, boy, what a fascinating man on my monitor. Need to wash my hair too, which is why I'm wearing the twins cap. It really highlights my sideburns though when the hair is like pulled back and you can't. Hey, remember what I used to look like? Like that, I guess? Or like, I don't know. I didn't tell you, but for my birthday, I know you were dying to know. Well, one of you is dying to know, which is why I'm bringing it up. For my birthday uh, dinner, we went to Axel's Char House, just down the road in Roseville, where they have great steaks. But they were out of 18-ounce prime rib, so I only had 12-ounce uh, prime rib. Maybe I should have had the ribeye instead. But man, that was a good steak. Oh man, but, but Kim had this, uh, this filet that came with a walleye filet also, so there was walleye and beef, and she had like the rarest beef in the world. Actually, hers wasn't even as rare as my mother-in-law's. She had the same thing, and hers was like, it was like, uh, the outside was cooked, but the inside was just practically raw, but it was so good. Wow. I should have had the filet. Problem is, the, you know, I like having lots of meat, and that was, the filet is like, it's some meat, but not as much meat as I wanted. And I'm willing to forego having fish to have more steak. But I only seem to go there once a year on my birthday, except for special birthdays. Last year we went to Manny's, which is kind of legendary, and we all had the silver butter knife steak. We had one for two and one for three because there were five of us. And it's also, you get that rare ass because you almost can cut it with your butter knife. Well, you probably can. I mean, they're butter knives. You know, because everything in that restaurant is from the 40s, so good quality stuff, man. The dudes playing the pianos and whatnot. But that was my 40th, so that was a little special, so I, I took everybody to Manny's. I just took everybody to Axel's like I usually do this year. But I haven't had any sushi lately, so i got to have that too. Usually around my birthday, like, we hit a lot of restaurants and not uh, have food at home. So, like, there's a trip to Old Spaghetti Factory, of course, and there's a sushi trip in there somewhere. We have two favorite sushi restaurants. One is in St. Paul. It's called, uh, what is it called? It's called Sajiya. It's on Grand. And they do tremendous sushi. And they have some pretty good dinner type deals. So I usually get the Sushi Imperial, which is chef's choice. Like 11 pieces, I think. 15 pieces. I don't know. But we always get a bunch to go with it, too. So we spend gobs of money, but it's really good food. And then the other place we go to is Ichiban, which is actually owned by Canadians, I think, because their site is Ichiban.ca, but they have a Minneapolis location. And they uh, were the first, or one of the first sushi places in Minnesota, and they also have the boats, so they have all you can eat for an hour for like 30 bucks. It's like, you really got to wait for what you want to come by, but if you do chow down there. Not as good quality, but for the price, for the sushi. I love sushi boats. When we live in California. There are a couple places that we'd go to that would have everything would come by on boats. And there was Sushi Maru in, San, in Sunnyvale and Kobe in Santa Clara. If you'd like me to hype your restaurant, 
I mention those because there may still be some people from the Bay Area. They already know about those places, though. But hey, look, 518, 519, 520. Usually, I don't have my watch on. Usually, I've been I've done so much typing that I've taken it off because it's annoying me, and it's sitting over there, and I'm looking at it over there. But it's actually on. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird to me only? The other thing I usually do on my birthday is go to Staryoki. Staryoki right now is on, well, we'll say hiatus. I feel like it might come back some other place, but for now, the place where they did have Staryoki, they went from three nights to two, and then they went from two to one, and they finally went from one to none at the end of May. What terrible timing. Didn't they know my birthday was coming up? Almost always went to Staryoki on my birthday or on June 6th. So it would be my birthday after midnight. And because it was three days a week, it was almost always one of those two days. But not this year. So I haven't done any singing. Well, except to myself. That doesn't count. Other people have to bask in the glory of my performance. So we got to go do my brother-in-law's karaoke. Uh, he's doing Wednesday nights at a new place, which is pretty close to our place. But that's tomorrow. So we'll see if we get it together. Kind of depends on, <coughs> excuse me, Kim's work schedule too. I don't know when she's working and if she can hit that place or not. Do have something very exciting for Thursday though. Uh, not only will it be Flag Day, but it'll be the record release party for Nidosaur's second CD. And you know I love me some Nidosaur. And if you haven't listened to their first CD, you should. Their second CD actually is currently streaming. I haven't listened to it because I don't want to spoil the surprise. And I always buy CDs from them, not digital ephemeral files. It's uh, funny that way. So Space Axers is the name of the album. But you can go to nidosaur.bandcamp.com and listen to it for free and then if you decide you like it you can pay just a mere seven bucks for eight tracks of mostly really long heavy I'm assuming it's heavy the first album was heavy the second album is supposed to be even heavier heavy metal now don't take it seriously but it is uh, it's good stuff I may be emotionally invested because I happen to really like one of the cats in the band and he's a friend of mine but even if I didn't like him, no. If, if I didn't know him, I would probably never know that it existed. But because I do, we all have the good fortune to be exposed to Nightosaur through me. Nightosaur, N-I-G-H-T-O-S-A-U-R, dot bandcamp dot com. Go, go. I'll wait. Type it in. I'll be here when you get back. Don't let that pentagram put you off. It's ironic, I think. I don't know. I don't feel any closer to Satan having listened to it, thankfully. That would get me in big trouble, I'm sure. Hey, someone, please say something to me. I know you're watching. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the plus one. Thank you for liking it on Facebook. Some of you are even liking it on Facebook, I know. I can't believe it either. But no one is responding. So it's just me talking to you, which may be fine for you, but eventually me will run out of things to say, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. Just making sure nobody said anything lately. Nope, nobody said anything. Come on, man. Somebody say something. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Twitter will get lost, probably. I probably should say something about wrestling, thinking about Twitter. Um, wow, three hours. Can you believe that it's going to be that every week in just six weeks? I can't. It's going to be exhausting. Without Twitter, I don't know how we'll get through it. You dudes on the West Coast, it's got to really suck for you because you can't uh, do the live thing unless you have the East Coast feed. Although maybe, I don't know, if you have DirecTV or Dish TV, can you get the East Coast feed and start watching Raw at 5 p.m.? Does it start at 5 p.m. in California if you get the East Coast feed? I think so. So it's like 8 to 11. Yeah. Oof. Well, I mean, I used to do that all the time. That was what made it possible for me to do Nitro and Raw. Oh, my 10 minutes is up. Nitro from 5 to 8, raw from 8 to 10. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.